everybody, what's going on? Jake here. It is Sunday, April the 26th, 2020. Coming at you from New York City, Manhattan. How you doing out there? Uh, quick question right off the bat. Should be easy to answer. How many people do you know that have actually died or required hospitalization for uh, the effects of the COVID-19 virus? Um, because still to this day, I don't know any. Um, and I'm not trying to trivialize uh, loss of life in any way, shape or form, because you know, that's, uh, that's not what I'm here to do. I'm just here to ask some questions and make you think, right? Because like I said, I don't know anybody. And um, it's been a month now of staying in place and uh, being out of work. And I still don't have an unemployment check. Um, so I'm really kind of running on fumes now these days and it's making me think of quite a few things, right? What, what's to come? What's, what's down the road here? When's it going to get better? And the answer is, I don't know. You know why? Because it's gonna, they, they've already told us that the next, uh, pandemic is going to happen uh, and it's going to coincide with flu season. Now, to me, what that sounds like is uh, that we're going to be kind of having a repeat right now of uh, this situation that we've been in um, during quarter four, during, uh, you know, everybody shopping for Christmas and the holidays. And that's going to put every single retailer and small businessman out of business because, you know, people are going to fight and claw their way back to get going again and then you kick the legs out from under them one more time and uh, I think they're going to tap out um, you know but going back to how many people do you know that have COVID or, or have had um, life altering results uh, from being ill from COVID uh, it, it, the, the data that every, everybody's reporting right is that the numbers are lower than what they were expected to be, um, significantly lower than they're expected to be, which is a great thing. Don't don't get me wrong here, uh, but right, if only say one percent of people getting sick from this are actually dying, then you have the other one percent right at the top of the economic mountain uh, that are making bank while the other 98% of us are going broke or um, having a bleaker future than we deserved um, due to this continuing. Um, so, right, all I'm saying is, I'm not gonna give you any statistics. You can look that up yourself. But like I said, just ask yourself, how many people do you know that actually had to be admitted into the hospital or uh, lost their life specifically due to uh, this virus? And decide, is it worth it to keep everything shut down? Um, you know, I, I try to think about what, uh, what great leaders would do in certain situations, right? And great leaders throughout history. And, you know, for this particular one, I, I ask uh, Abraham Lincoln, hey, Abraham Lincoln, what would you say? And you know what Abraham Lincoln would say? He'd say, I'd say the same thing I said before. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Now, this is far from over because we're just about to get into all the, uh, the after questions, the rebuild, so to speak, and, and what to do from here. Um, the, the big fight now is going to be about whether uh, people wear masks or not when they're out in public. You see, I've got my little uh, red, I'm going to stick up a liquor store bandana on my face. And I just might do it because I don't have any money anymore. Um, but... You know, I'm, I'm doing that more because they're asking us to on the subways and in stores and stuff, but mostly to uh, not create waves and, and ill will amongst my more germophobic peers. Um, 
But again, it's like, are you going to penalize people because they're healthy? If, if you're so worried about catching something, then perhaps the consideration should be what people have done all throughout history up until now. Uh, if you're worried about it, stay home. Uh, try to be one of those people that works from home all the time. And don't go out. Stay in. I, I get it. You've, uh, you've seen enough uh, bad news and, and uh, fear-mongering for 10 lifetimes. And, and you, you are rightfully scared and you have every right to stay indoors and not come outside. And you should be able to find a way to make money from home. As for everybody else... Uh, that the 90% of people that catch this virus like a cold or a flu and they get over it and they don't have any residual effects. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's tough, right? Because when I look around, some people have masks on. A lot of people don't. And you know why people don't? Because, quite frankly, they don't know anybody that's gotten sick either. Um, because if they did, and they actually were concerned or worried about it, they would have a mask on, for sure. People are that way, they're predictable, um, and easily manipulated, as we have seen. Um, and don't forget, like, you know, 98% of the people, are, if 1% is dying, 1% is making bank, the other 98% are going broke. And that 1%, let me just say, and this is not like some sort of a made-up number. This is, this is uh, out there on the internet. I guess it could be made up. Who knows? Maybe it's just making. Maybe they're making it up just to make me angry and to make you angry. But you know, if 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 what they say is true, then the billionaires on planet Earth during this pandemic, where one percent of people die and ninety percent don't even need hospitalization, um, they've made over sixty-five, two hundred and sixty-five billion dollars. Two hundred and sixty-five billion dollars of acquired wealth since this began, and I can't get my freaking unemployment check. Um, you know, I love capitalism. I really do. I love democracy. But they only work when it's not rigged for uh, the same people to win over and over and over again and the same people to capitalize on when the shit goes down. Because you know what? Everybody that's gotten laid off, the government's picking up the tab for them when they finally get around to paying unemployment. And then they're still giving out loans and stuff to restart businesses to people that may or may not need it. So, all I'm doing is putting the questions out there. Uh, really, got to ask yourself, you know, fool us once, shame on us, fool us twice, or wait, how'd that go? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Let's, uh, let's get this thing back on track, folks. Let's get this economy back going and don't let them take it away again. All right. Anyway. Meh. Have a great day. Hope you're doing well. Miss you all. Take care. Ciao.